Hi everyone, welcome back here on my channel. I am Joshua Alvarez. I am a Filipino and for today's video, I am going to do a pageant related video. For those of you who know, I've been a pageant enthusiast ever since I was in high school, influenced by my friends and nurtured and cultivated by its power. Like pageantry has been gives me joy. It gives me it gives me an inspiration more than I can speak of. And I think that we should all adhere with that because beauty pageant has been very relevant to a lot especially Filipinos but without further ado today I am going to give my sentiments for five candidates as you can see on the thumbnail so mostly from Asia and mostly these candidates are the top favorites for this upcoming Miss Universe 2020 I quite follow this five ladies on Instagram and I have been following them since they won their national pageant up to now that they are going to the international stage. They'll be competing on Miss Universe 2020 on May. First is Miss Universe South Africa. Their way of choosing a candidate for their Miss Universe 2020 contestant is quite different because there is this rand people would have to choose or the organization itself or the candidate itself but if you're familiar with it kindly comment and enlighten me she is Natasha Jobert who will represent the South Africa in the Miss Universe 2020. She was the second runner-up in that pageant and she's gorgeous. I mean, the winner was Shudov Hadzu Musida. Not really familiar with her name, but she won. She's a black woman, very well-spoken, very articulate, as we can see with the way she answered because I was able to watch their Q&A video and I'm just gonna attach their pictures here. The reason why I really love the idea of this selection of candidates for an international pageant and designation of the crowns because they have the freedom to strategize and to think of knowing south africa they always bring diverse um candidates they always bring different to the table in the international arena which i find it very strategic to bring natasha jobert in miss universe 2020 because they have been sending black women quite a while and they have been phenomenal tamarin green uh, Zubzubini, they have been so gorgeous but they have to break that strategy because judges might feel like they were always into that area. If they are just going to adhere with that kind of strategy or that kind of idea every now and then, then they might lose their streak in the international pageant. And Natasha, she's beautiful, she's gorgeous, but I think that she could improve her communication skills, which I think that the organization is focusing as well because no South African is not well spoken. I have to say that. And the way that I can recall her performance in the international pageant, it has been phenomenal, different, beautiful. And I think that she should be more expressive with the way she answered because she answered international pageant I think quite nakukulangan ako sa answers niya doon and I think that she could have been more convicted like more driven that's why I think she is as well the one to look out for but I think there's someone or other candidates stronger than her this edition next candidate is Miss India 2020, which I am very fond of. 
this Miss Universe India 2020 but I'm really saddened with the um, news last time that she was she was positive with COVID-19 but I think she can still run on and continue in the pageant knowing that there is still lengthy of time so I'm really happy about that because she's really well spoken she is a woman of substance um, who is Adeline Mewis Cuadros Castellano. She was born 24th of July 1998, an Indian model and a beauty passion title holder. She was crowned as the Miss Diva Universe 2020 and will represent India at Miss Universe 2020 pageant. She is so substantial. If you just know or if you just seen her performance in Miss Universe or Miss Diva Universe 2020, she is phenomenal. I will put um, all their performances in the description box below so that you could have a glimpse of these candidates because we have strong Asian um, contestants this year and I have to say that India is one of them. I think I can see India in a Q&A round of Miss Universe if she will be representing, if she will be consistent enough with her power, with the way she will deliver herself in that pageant. But all I can see now, this girl is working towards purpose, which is hard for a woman to fake. The purpose, the background, she is beautiful and she has been very consistent with her appearances, with her causes, and she's not very exposed in social media, which I really appreciate. This has to be like balance. I think she's working on internally and I cannot, you know, say anything more than her performance in the national pageant because she delivered to see that the q and a round towards that um in that video that i am going to be linking down in the description is not easy just to tell you it's very hard to answer but she delivered india is one of not just the asian candidate but the one candidate in general to look for in this Miss Universe 2020. To watch out for this girl because she's going to rock the segment. She's beautiful. I mean, girl, her complexion, her beauty. Um, Disclaimer, I am more on in the intellectual aspect. I am more on a woman who knows how to present herself and how to work. Next candidate is Miss Universe 2020 Indonesia Putri Indonesia 2020 that is their like of a Binibining Pilipinas so yung tawag nila dan is Putri Indonesia 2020 Radin Ayu Maulida Putri or better known as Ayu Maulida an Indonesian People's Consultative Assembly Ambassador, a national head of communication of Indian COVID-19 Response Acceleration Task Force, fashion model, and a beauty pageant title holder, who won the title of Paturi Indonesia 2020. She will represent the Indonesia in the Miss Universe 2020. And you have to say, has been so busy posting and working on externally public images public styling 
pasabogs and the like. All the external publications, she's on it. She's very pasabog. She's so exposed. She's so overwhelming the social media with her styling, with the way she walked, the way she deliver herself, her styling, and in general. I think that is sometimes kind of a cons to a candidate because you're, um, you're overexposing yourself, overexposing what you can give, which will give you an overwhelming belief, but then she, her credentials has been pretty strong, which I have to say, I have to agree already that she is a professional in terms of beauty passion and in terms of her personal life, her work, and her job because she's an ambassador and she's as well a spokesperson, a communication of Indonesian COVID-19 response. She's well-spoken, I have to say that, but I have to say that what an Indonesia can work on this edition is her originality. Um, because I have seen her sent off her sent of photo um, and her sent of video the inspired by the volcano around her country which we can all agree that it was a Catriona Gray move and it was inspired by Catriona but I don't think they were able to recognize it as one I think that is one thing that a candidate is lacking and making that is yung namamali sa international stage is that mamali yung idea na they are copying other people or other um, title holders um, tactics or strategy that, that is why napapalya sila on the said Miss Universe passion itself because they were trying to copy other people's appearance, other people's strategy without realizing that they have the power of their own. So the moment they go there, they were inspired, let's just say. So how can you stand out if you're trying to copy other people? Because other people will correlate your performance to that person. And if you will not gonna be able to surpass their expectation, you will set as failure. So better off, just go there and bring your original self, your originality as an individual because at the end of the day, you are representing your country reflected by yourself. So why do you have to copy other people's styling, other people's idea, if you can have your own? Well, I believe Indonesia, you are creative just the way you are. So I think that is just my comment about Miss Indonesia in this year's passion she has to be real and she has to find that burning desire reflected outside just by being her to our next candidate which i'm very excited of i know you too is miss universe thailand 2020 amanda obdam i think she is one of the most famous Miss Universe 2020 candidate so far. I think everyone knows her like she delivered her national pageant beautifully with some of issues but then she delivered period. Miss Universe Thailand was Amanda Optum. Amanda Optum is a Thai Canadian model and a beauty passion title holder crowned Miss Universe Thailand 2020 representing Thailand in Miss Universe 2020. So Amanda is. She is, of course, she has to work on her communication skills, her Q&A. I think she's been a professional model externally. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not na Amanda. She's beautiful, but again, I am here to judge a candidate in terms of their values. I think above all, a Miss Universe should have the value because everyone there is beautiful just by representing her country 
Because imagine you won your national pageant, you are already beautiful. But to go there, bringing your values and character represented, representing your whole country, your whole country is being reflected to you. You have to be careful because you are generalized by a lot of people just be representing your country. And this person, Amanda Updum, let's go back to her. I think that the moment that she knows already how to work on her ideas, not limiting or not thinking that she has to be applauded while she speak and she just speak her mind, she has to stand strong and to deliver her answers constructively and with sense I mean there is sense but structured wise she can give or she can brought back to Thailand the crown they always wanted to to go back in their country so Amanda it's not about the wardrobe that you're going to wear it's not about the physical appearance that you're going to focus focus as well on the intellectual aspect by that you are good to go to get that crown and win for your country next candidate or last candidate here that will be featured is miss universe philippines 2020 rabia mateo do you want the miss universe philippines it's not already um, a bini bini Pilipinas, but for all of us, no, it's, or, it's still like a kind of a bini bini Pilipinas. But the franchise was transferred to a Miss Universe Philippines for Miss Universe International pageant alone, so it's not in the franchise of bini bini Pilipinas. Rabia Oxenia Mateo was born on November 15, 1996, an Indian Filipino model, so she is half Indian, a pageant title holder who was crowned Miss Universe 2020 and will be representing Philippines in the upcoming Miss Universe 2020. What I like about Rubia is that, sorry for the noise, but as long as you can hear me, it's good. What I like about Rubia is she knows how to form a good foundation. For those of you who don't know, Rabia is working on her mindset in Miss Universe, which is very important because you will be there standing with all beautiful women, period, sexy women, period. All of you are already beautiful outside. But the way you keep for yourself, your mindset, and how you are going to be there standing and thinking that this is a job, I have to fulfill this job because I am here representing the brand, representing my country, is what matters more than me being just beautiful, plainly. So we have to take that into consideration and we have to appreciate Rabia for doing such. Because at the end of the day, being a Miss Universe Philippines is a pressure. You will be there representing the country Philippines with the history of well-spoken, beautiful, prepared candidate. So Rabia, we understand you and we are applauding all your effort because you're doing just being fine and you're doing amazing. I am very fond of her strategy right now. Her strategy was not really to publicize herself every now and then, but to do it slowly but surely until the final night comes. Rabia, I think she what she has to work right now is a bit of her communication skills we can like you've that because all of them are still a room for improvement in terms of their communication skills and q a skills but with rabia she still have to have to think faster and to deliver herself well structured enough to deliver all her thoughts in that time given to the Miss Universe and after which she's good to go. I mean, she knows how to answer already. She has faith. She has values. She has a face value. What can 
she work on is a little bit of preparation a little bit of giving that energy but I know she knows how to play her cards so right now I can say with Rubia is she's doing a good job she still have to accept that she still have things to work on so she's prepared she's ready she just need to execute and to use her cards wisely this time because she's an underdog as what we can all see and agree upon thank you for listening to my sentiments i know they are not really constructed but i am doing my best because that is just the things that i know about them in my opinion which i am open for suggestions comments recommendations and your what is your thoughts about this video you can share your thoughts and comment section down and yeah i'll see you on my next vlog and thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you appreciate because it's been a while thank you so much as always if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below and might as well share this video outside i'll see you in the next